Okay. Um, so this is actually going to be, this is level 15. I'm actually going to do these, uh, one level below this is going to be these rooms. Um, but I'm actually going to put these, uh, so let's see, this is 28. Um, and I want to prepare for like 200 dwarves or so. I want like eight floors of these to overdo it. Eight would be 224 rooms. Yeah, I think that's good. Um, okay, so I think what I want is basically 15 to uh, what? Two? Uh, or no, no, 15 to seven, I think. Yeah, 15 to 7. Um, well, actually, I'm going to be starting at 14, 14 to 7. That's fine. As Down to 7 is fine for now. I'm, I'm not even going to mine these out. I'm just kind of planning this. Um, so that I'm going to leave these here, uh, and I can eventually dig to them. This would be way too much to try to mine right now. But we'll go down to 7 for now. Yeah, I like this design. I think it's going to be good. And then what I'll do to, to, to probably flatten it is um, I'll actually probably just do like this or something. Um, you know, I don't know. It's just, just for aesthetics. Like, there's no real reason, but... Uh, or I might get rid of the center column entirely. I don't know. Okay, that looks good. All right, so now uh, I need to do the stairs in all of these. Um, for now, I'll just do the first level up to 15. So I'm going to get rid of 15 here, which is going to be my dining hall, and start at 14 here, and then. Uh, And then let's do stairs. So the stairs are going to be on the dining hall here. And these won't really get in the way. Like, dwarves aren't going to fall downstairs. So um, you can kind of just treat these as floor up here. It's not really going to be a big deal. I will say it is a little bit awkward um, in this design that like a guy on you know down here on like floor eight <laughs> is gonna have to like walk through a bunch of people's rooms to get to his room but uh, the dwarves don't care about that um, what I used to do if you want to avoid a weirdness like that and you want to still do this design is you can basically just do a, uh, a tavern style entryway floor every couple levels with an up and down into uh, you know apartments above and below 
but it to me it's just a waste of floors um you know this is more efficient even if it's a a little bit weird if you think about it all right so this is what we're dealing with for the uh for this level so what do we want to do here I think for now, since I only need seven rooms, um, I'm just gonna go to like, you know, do something basic for now, because like I'm not, I'm not really trying to do it all, and just capture like, like these ones. Four, six, and seven. We'll just do something like that for now. Um, and then we can think more about it later. But that should be a good start. They'll mine out these. They'll mine out the individual rooms. And... Uh, yeah, and that should be a good setup. All right, let's let them go, and we can think more about it later. Oh, uh -oh. <laughs> okay. So I said in the last video that a very good reason to dig deep early um, is so that you can kind of know if this is going to happen and potentially even restart um, if you don't want to deal with it. Uh, I will obviously just try dealing with it. Um, I thought that since I was on a higher elevation. I actually had more to work with. Uh, like I thought it would have to be like sub below zero or something like this before this would happen, but uh, apparently not the case. So let's see what we hit here. <laughs> it's gonna th throw a bit of a wrench into our plans. Uh, we got a magma lake and uh, caverns to deal with. And we are not prepared. So, all right, we're gonna have to rethink all of this. Uh, and for now, I think I wanna just wall this off. All right, all right. Delete all that. all that and let's do we need to wall these That's the only place I pierced it. Uh, this is this will potentially be very cool though. Um, once I'm ready to deal with this, uh, having magma down here. Is going to be pretty sweet because I'll be able to do uh, things that would normally require burning a bunch of wood to get coal and uh, you know just generating all this fuel. Um, I can just use the magma instead. Um, I think this will work. Just wa walling this off, I won't really have to worry about anything uh, coming up here and causing me trouble. I don't know. I didn't deal with this at all in my last fortress. Uh, my my, uh, I was able to dig down quite a bit without hitting anything. Um, so we do need to figure out what we're doing with the housing quarters then. Uh, 
yeah, this is kind of a big problem for me. So I was only able to go down to, let's see, that puts um, 32, 31, and 30 as my workshop layers. Like, I don't have that much room for housing. Um, so I might just have to change up design a little bit here. Uh, like, what I could do is... Um, I could continue my plan and just like wall around this uh, and build right through the caverns, which is what I might ultimately do. Um, but for now, just in the meantime, I'm going to need something. Um, so what I might do is just go to like, I don't know if these caverns are going to go up any further is the problem. They very well may. I don't know. Let's let them wall this off first. Okay, I think, uh, I think this should be good. So yeah, I wonder if I have access to this floor here, because if so, what I might do is just build temporary rooms here um, for now, just so my dwarves have somewhere to sleep. use that same design How about that? How are my other guys doing up here? Another cool thing is um, we've got like subterranean trees down here. Um, so one thing I think I can do, uh, um, I don't have I don't have a, a ton of experience dealing with this just yet. Um, so, but I believe that what I can do is uh, essentially wall off the parts of this cavern that are outside of my uh, zone that I that I went on. So I, I have a two by two here. Um, one thing that I didn't mention um, in the Embark video, another reason besides just like FPS that I like sort of like the miniature tiles um, is for reasons like this. Like in a situation where I might have to do something with the border of this, uh, a two by two is gonna be a heck of a lot more manageable than like the default four by four. Um, or like if I had done the mini for it on a one by one, obviously like I just don't have as much surface area that I have to worry about. Um, but that that's really going to like eliminate um, the possibility of things coming in here that I, I don't want to deal with. Or And it can also give me the ability to like 
deal with them on my own time. So what I might do is, you know, maybe once I get some migrants, things like that, is go ahead and break through into this layer again um, and come just basically deal with this. Like close off all the areas where it touches, um, you know, the side with just like walls on every layer that it touches and uh, and then sort of try to continue my normal um, design here and see if I can do that. Um, and that'll give me access to some stuff down here without really having to worry about other stuff coming and uh, causing trouble in this area. Yeah, might be the way I go with that. Very different game than my last one, which is cool. Uh, okay, we got everything set up here for brewing. Um, so I think at this point, I've got a lot of um, planting already done. Uh, I think my planter can probably handle it. So I'm gonna go back to my labor here and uh, turn off planting on, uh, oh, he's already adequate, look at that, on my cook guy. And uh, I, I brought a lot of drink, so I'm okay for a while, but I think I'm gonna have this guy go ahead and start brewing with some of these plump helmets, which is then gonna create me more alcohol and seeds. So um, I'm gonna have him brew from plant. Uh, in this case, I actually am gonna set this up as a, I only want you to take from uh, this stockpile that I created um, around this thing. Which can cause trouble later if I uh, if I don't fit that. But yeah, it's gonna say take from the brewing ingredients, um, and I think I'm gonna put an output stockpile to this too as soon as I get um, this kind of layer here set up with uh, with kind of a dining room. Um, but for now, we'll just do that, and uh, and uh, yeah, we'll set that on important maybe. Oh, yeah, let's no. Instead of setting important, let's just set the worker to work on it. So we want our proficient brewer to work on this. And uh, he should probably start working on that soon. Uh, I'm not going to do any cooking just yet. Uh, they can eat the stuff that they have uh, just fine. Um, and right now I made my same uh, dwarf both a brewer and a cooker. And I want them to focus right now on just doing some brews. Which they are. These will also require barrels. So I set quite a while ago this guy doing uh, bins and barrels. Um, you know he's doing pretty well over here. Uh, I could still stand to do with more of these. Um, but you're also going to need barrels for all these brews that you're doing. So it's just going to be kind of a constant um, thing that you need to keep making. Which is why I say like embarking on a place that doesn't have much wood um, is you know causes all kinds of problems. Um, so now that I have this, once I have these rooms set up, I think the next thing I'm going to do is this other quantum stockpile over here for completed furniture. Um, but first let's go ahead and let them uh, finish these rooms and I will put those beds that I've already built. And then I have some tables and chairs ready for this area as well. And I'll just probably just do like a temporary setup in here right now for a, uh, a meeting hall and eating and drinking area. start building the beds in here. Let's do the beds on top. Uh, in this case where you just have to do a lot of placing, uh, the option actually is really nice for these. Um, uh, this option where you just use the closest material, like this is a case where I just don't care. Um, I just want to grab one of these beds that I've created and with the keep building after placement you can kind of just chain them. Uh, it makes it really fast to place a lot of these quickly. Copper nuggets. That'll be good. Yeah, so I'm probably going to set up another stockpile soon too for uh, for metal ores. Um, probably on this like two layers beneath, yeah, layer beneath this uh, cooking layer where I'm going to do more of my metal working.
we'll do it. Um, so once these beds are in here, uh, I'm going to go ahead and create the room zones now. So creating each one of these as a separate bedroom. Uh, it's okay if the wall overlaps. Uh, you will get you will get a kind of a penalty. Uh, so in some cases, like let's say I let's say I create a bedroom here, and then like I wanted to try to like cheat and like uh, you know I don't know create another bedroom like here or something, right? Um, it's going to give me a uh, uh, an overlapping bedroom uh, notice here, which um, I don't exactly know what the penalties for this are, but I'm pretty sure it's going to like really hurt you when it comes to uh, scoring this room in terms of what it you know uh, what it considers this room like a dingy bedroom or something like that, um, and so uh, that's kind of a problem. But shared walls. Um, you're not going to get that message. That's totally fine. And you can share engravings, uh, you know, that you do on just one of these walls or something, which I was saying is kind of a benefit of having rooms just like side by side like this. Uh, it's just a little, a little easier. Um, and we want to keep things compact so that they don't have to move very far. Um, I'm not going to give these names. It would just take too long. Um, but I'm just going to create the bedrooms first before I set any settings. I do sort of wish there was like a way to do this with like the furniture where I could just draw the squares and it would just default everything. But as of now, I think you got to click accept and then bedroom again. Uh, okay, so we got all, all of these now. Let's wait for these beds to be built and then I'll just assign the rooms. job. Uh, let's take you off of dedicated mining duty and then maybe you'll do something. Yeah. Store an item and stockpile. I think I'd rather you make these beds. Alright, we got two guys constructing building here. Alright. Uh, so let's give, let's just go down the line. And so every time you assign somebody a bedroom, uh, the next one that you do, it's going to show up here. So uh, you know, anytime you get migrants, obviously you want to come in here and do this. Um, and it's best to have the bedrooms just ready and waiting for them. Uh, ideally, even create it as zones so it just goes quick. Um, and it's always a good idea to just kind of check back here every once in a while. Um, sometimes you're going to have like uh, babies born and, um, you know, things like that. But just want to make sure everybody's assigned so that they stay happy. Um, So they all have their own bedroom now. Uh, next thing I want to do is build some of those tables and chairs that I built. So furniture table. How many did I end up with here? I'm going to go back to select material after placement just to check. So it looks like I have five, uh, which is totally enough for now. Um, and how many chairs? Uh, I got five of each. OK, good. Um, so let's do, go back to use closest material, and uh, I'm just going to do like, um, I don't know, you want to have one tear, uh, chair per table. Uh, dwarves don't like sharing the tables, so you can't, you can't really do like a one table and four chairs around. I mean, you can, but um, it's preferable to have uh, these tables and chairs. So I think I'm just going to kind of like put these between the rooms here. Do something like that. With the five. And I think I'm going to do the chairs on the outside for now. And then that will give me a nice space here for, uh, uh, want to do basically alcohol down here and, uh, and finished food. Right now we've really just got alcohol um, to worry about. So uh, I'm going to actually go all the way up to the table and just do this whole one as drinks. So we're going to go back to food uh, and set these all for drinks. Um, we don't really have any mead coming, but sure, why not? We'll just do this all drinks. And we'll just name this drinks. And um, even though we don't have any yet, uh, let's just go ahead and make a space here 
for prepared food. Prepared meals. There we go. I think that's all I need. I guess we'll find out pretty soon. Yeah, let's try that. All right, so hopefully they will bring the alcohol down here now. And uh, we still got these guys making barrels and bins. Um, I don't think there's anything else I really need at this very moment, um, furniture-wise.